Hello everyone, in this video, I will be explaining you regarding workbook and worksheet objects. First, I will explain you regarding object hierarchy in Excel. Excel VBA is an object-oriented programming language. So, in Excel, everything is an object. The superset of this object is application itself, which is Excel Excel application. The Excel application contains other objects such as workbook object and this include all the workbook that you create. The workbook object contains other objects such as worksheet objects and this include all the worksheets that are there in a particular workbook. The worksheet object contains other objects such as cell. So if you want to perform any task in Excel, you need to follow this object hierarchy. Now let me explain you by taking a particular example. I have saved this Excel as macro. And now let us write a code. Go in the developer tab and VBA. So let me insert a module. Now Let us write the code. Let us first write a sub. Its name has trial. And then let us write the code as I want to store one number in cell 1, 1. So let us execute this code. So this code is storing one value in one comma one cell. Now, this is very short way of writing the code. The actual code is very big. Let me write the actual code that is the, that is going behind this small code. The actual code is application dot work books so workbook name here is macro dot worksheets so we are referring worksheet number one from the left then in the worksheet we are referring to cell one comma one and then we are inserting one value in one comma one so this is the entire code line which is shrink to cell 1 comma 1 dot value equals to 1. Let us first execute this code. And let me if you let me write 2 over here. Let us insert 2 value to see if there is any change in the value in 1 comma 1 cell. So let us run this code. So one value is entered and then we are running the big line code and it is inserting a value to in one comma one cell so both of these codes are same now since our code is in excel application macro workbook and sheet one we can omit that part and directly write cell 1 comma 1 dot value but if we want to enter value in cells of other sheet of same workbook or other workbook then we need to follow the hierarchy now there are different ways of referring sheets in excel i will explain you by taking an example let us first create three sheets in the excel that we have stored and let us name this sheet as Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Now 
I will remove this code from the subroutine and write new code. So there are three different ways of referring a worksheet in Excel. So first way is by referring it with a name. First way is by referring it with a name. Sheets Monday dot cells one comma one dot value equals to Monday. Second way is by referring it with a number. Second way is by referring it with a number. Worksheet two. So what this two number represent is the second worksheet from the left. Cell one comma one dot value equals to Tuesday. Tuesday. And the third way is by using a code name. So here in the project explorer, you can see sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. These are the code name. And Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday are the names of the worksheet. So here we have to write sheets, sheet 1 of sheet 3 dot cells 1 comma 1 dot value equals to final say. Now let us execute this code. So in sheet 1 that is Monday it is storing the value in the sheet 2 it is storing the value and in sheet 3 it is storing Wednesday and done. So these are the three different ways of referring sheet in Excel. The most reliable way is by referring it with a code name. If you are working it, if you are working in only one workbook. Now, if you want to see the properties and the function for workbook and worksheet, then you can go to view and in view object browser. In the object browser, you can look for the workbook. So this is a workbook and these are all the properties, functions and subroutines predefined and access. By using all these function properties and the subroutines which are predefined in Excel, we can do different different activities with the worksheet and workbook. I will be explaining all these properties, functions and subroutines with an example in the next video. Thank you.